Angler B color LED ring light, 18 inches BHA and RLB 18 LED, MFR RLB 18 LED. Cost, $99.99. B&H. In the box Angler B color LED ring light, 18 inches, power adapter cosmetics mirror smartphone bracket mini ball head travel case limited one year warranty. Key features. Color, 32506600K, critele CI. 98 de plus 120 de grade. Beam spread. Dims 100 to 0%, 1207 lux at 3 feet. 100 to 240 VAC adapter can run on optional NPF type batteries. The 18 inches the color LED ring light from Angler employs 240 SMD LEDs to cast a soft, near, shadowless quality that's very flattering to skin tones and is great for vlogging, selfies, makeup, portraiture, and more. The fixture also reflects interesting circular catch lights in your subject's eyes which is the signature of its form factor. Color temperature is variable. Angler RLB 18 LED Overview The 18 inches the color LED ring light from Angler employs 240 SMD LEDs to cast a soft, near shadowless quality that's very flattering to skin tones and is great for vlogging, selfies, makeup, portraiture, and more. The fixture also reflects interesting circular catch lights in your subject's eyes which is the signature of its form factor. Color temperature is variable from 3200 to 5600 K, allowing the output to blend with any type of ambient light, match other fixtures, or spark creative expression. The ring light's very high CRINT LCI ratings of 98 plus assure accuracy in color rendering. Light intensity is variable too from 0 to 100% in 1% increments so you can dial up the ideal brightness for your project. The inclusion of a dual-sided mirror is Angler's way of ensuring a fun, easy user experience when posing or shooting. One side has normal reflective qualities while the other offers a magnified view for detailed work on makeup or hairstyling. Angler has also got you covered for shooting options with the provided mini ball head for small cameras as well as a smartphone bracket that keeps the devices properly aimed through the central opening of the light. Yet another indication of design versatility is the fixture's power options. The included multi-voltage AC adapter makes the ring light a candidate for worldwide use, but the light also has two slots for separately purchased NPF type batteries for situations where an AC outlet is unavailable which will give you about 2.5 hours of runtime away from a wall socket. Additionally, Angler includes a travel case for storage and transport. Angler RLB 18 LED Specs Light Fixture Beam Angle 120 degrees Color Temperature 3200 to 5600 K Color Accuracy Standard CRI 97.6 at 5600 K CRI 97 at 4400 K CRI 97.6 at 3200 K TLCI 99 at 5600 K TLCI 98 at 4400 K TLCI 97 at 3200 K Cooling System Passive Dimming Yes 0 to 100% stepped display ledge housing material ABS plastic photometrics 120 degrees at 3200 K 94.8 FC 1020 locks at 2.990.91 meters 120 degrees at 4400 K 109.6 FC 1180 locks at 2.990.91 meters 120 degrees at 5600 K 109.6 FC 1180 locks at 2.990.91 meters number of LEDs 240 expected lamp life 50,000 hours fixture dimensions 18.0 x 18.0 x 2.0 inches 45.7 x 45.7 x 5.1 centimeters fixture weight 3 pounds 1.36 kilograms connectors battery play 2x Sony L series NPF Power input connector barrel coax mounting fixture mount 1 slash 4 minus 20 female mount via included adapter 5 slash 8 receiver accessory mount 1x shoe mount power AC input power 100 to 240 VAC 50 60 hertz DC input power 15 to 16.8 VDC power source AC adapter external battery max power consumption 48 W packaging info package weight 7.75 pounds box dimensions LXWXH 20.25x 19.75x 4.5
riding this tripod. I think this is a Drobo tripod or you know what? I'm not sure. It's a nice tripod because it extends. I must have done a video on this. See it extends, then you turn it. So this would be great. And then the legs really come out wide. This is mine. I did a video on this already. You probably just look up the name on it. Right there. And then the mount for the phone, instead of using the one, the one that came, I actually have this one. I bought a couple of them on eBay. I don't like it because I have a case on my phone and it's really difficult for the case to stay on and tends to slide out. So I found these on eBay. I mean, not eBay, Amazon. I think they're great. They uh, hold almost anything, you know, any kind of case because as you can see, it's longer and it's a longer, it comes out longer and it has more of a hook. It has a hook. So when it gets caught here, it stays there, no matter how thick it is. They work really well, I love these things. And I don't think they do iPads. But you can bring it all the way out. Yeah, I don't think you could get out. Yeah, that's as far as you can go. So you can get a pretty large phone on there. You can do portrait, you know, whatever you want, which is great. I'm gonna put that on there also with what came with the light, I'll be using this. So this will be connecting to this, and then I'll connect this to the light. But these two things are my own, from my own uh, drawer, and this is from the product itself. tripod I plan to use to make it like a tabletop because this light is really heavy and the tripod just wasn't wide enough the legs weren't wide enough for it this is a tripod that's for a mic that I converted to use as a camera mount it's cost me like $9.99 at B&H compared to other tripods I bought a couple of these just uh, to leave them out 
Uh, I have one at another location that's actually outside, and that way I don't have to come back and forth with tripods. I just go out there and use it. I did end up still using this mount compared to the one that came with it because of the hooking. It's longer and it has a hook. But I did need to put back the original mount that came with it. The one I had taken it off, which is right there, because whenever I tried to use my own, whenever I screwed in my own thing, the, the weight on the light was just way, way, way too much and one of my screws actually snapped. This didn't break, but the screw broke and I had to take it out with a pair of vice grips. So I would leave the original one on, definitely don't try to, I couldn't get it to work. Unless it's gonna be there all the time, you have somewhere to put it. But what I ended up doing was using my mic stand and putting it through the, I've done a video on this stand and this arm moves up and down to make it higher and lower. So that's what I like about it. If I uh, do this to it, I can raise it and lower it, raise it and lower it as I wish, which is really cool. And I could angle it any way I want because it's strong enough to hold up this light. This light is really, really heavy. So let me just take a look at, I'm gonna videotape with the light and without so I can get an idea. I'm gonna use this mostly for my videos. That way I don't have to add light and I'm gonna see how it comes out. I'm gonna use it also for some portrait pictures, regular, I'm an amateur, so just regular amateur portrait pictures. I took the, some pictures of my setup and I'll show them at the end. Let me get higher, let me raise this a little bit higher. I'm gonna act like I'm reviewing this, uh, hold on one second. Keyboard, mouse, or mirror. Okay, so let me put on the light. This is 3200K, I'm going higher. I'm sorry, let me, uh, just the dimmer. This is at 3200K and the dimmer going up. Up, so. Up. And then this is as high as it is, the light. And let me the dimming. Let me turn off the overhead lights that I have over my kitchen table. And this is five. This is 5600K. So I'm going to dial it down so you can see the difference. Not the dimmer, the K setting. It's a different light temperature. And I think it's called Calvin, as you can see. Now it's all the way down to 3200. I go back up again. Okay, that's his highest. It's like bright white. 56K, and now I'm gonna use the dimmer. So this is the highest setting. The lowest, or actually off. Let's say I'm reviewing this keyboard, this PS2 keyboard. If you remember what that is, still have them. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Gets you a lot of details. To help with the lighting, definitely. Definitely help with the lighting. As you can 
ici. Well, you let me know. I like it. I'm using it for product reviews. So if I'm getting up close, like I usually do with my products, the lighting helps as I, I mean, to me of what I see from this side, it looks better, brighter. I like it compared to it being off. Yeah. All right, let me know what you think. I like it. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you.